Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your dinosaur masks into fursuits. Start by cutting off the mouth strap. We're going to add a different one later. I wanted my dinosaur to have follow me eyes, so I began by taking off the eye mask on the inside. When working with tight knit mesh, you have to use the technique known as dry brushing. It is important to be patient while dry brushing. It will take multiple layers in order to be completely opaque, so take your time. Take hot glue and put it on the outer rim of the eye mask. Make sure the eye is centered the way you'd like it. Once the eye is down, place more glue on the back connecting to the eye mask. Take any stretchy material that you have and cut out a square big enough to fit the bottom of the mouth. When gluing, make sure to pull a little that it's not too tight and also not too loose. If you're going to use a balaclava or some sort of lining, make sure to glue the top of the raptor's head to the lining.
I like to take an extra piece of foam and glue it down the crown of the head just for extra security. For horns, you can either make them out of fabric or clay. This can be used for any other things such as feathers or claws or any other thing you might want to add to your dinosaur. When getting ready to tape, use plastic wrap on the front of the face so it doesn't peel up the paint. When drawing your pattern on the tape, make sure to mark the direction of the fur, which should always be away from the face, and make sure to mark the color in each section. I make sure all of my pieces can lay flat on a piece of paper and then cut around the tape, leaving about half an inch of seam allowance. When cutting fur, make short cuts as to not ruin the length of the fur.
not glue the bottom of the jaw or the jaw will no longer move. 